So today we're going to talk about why a lot of shops will not work on this Craftsman stuff and, you know, non-steel, non-Husqvarna branded, non-Echo type stuff. So a customer brings this in. He said he's owned it for a few years now. He's run nothing but non-ethanol gas in it and loaned it out to a neighbor. He said his neighbor had been using an electric one on leaves and he was trying to show him the power of a gas one. And this one is pretty close to a BG56C. It's a few cc smaller and it's not a steel, but you know, it's in the same class. So he said when he got it back from his neighbor, his neighbor had emptied the fuel out and run it dry. And this year, whenever he went out there, his fuel line was broke. I said, well, let's make sure he had oil in the uh, ethanol fuel he was using. And it appears he did. Cover, filter, screws. All right. All right. So some shops are going to be required to order OEM stuff, like another wall burr for this, and use you know a certain type of fuel line, and then charge the shop rate while they're doing it. And of course, the customer said, "Oh, my buddy said he was really sorry, and just to take it and get it fixed, and he'll pay the bill, whatever it costs." So get your wire through the hole, cut wire, snip at an angle, get through the back at the neck, up and around. And twist small enough to go through the hole as you get it started apply some lubricant help guide it in as you pull on the wire just inch it along it should be a good snug fit when you're out of the tank it's fuel filter time pull it back where you want it shoot it home same thing with the return line except this time snip it off and put this on and then pull it back until it's up like that we have a new carburetor, fuel line in the back, return in the front. Some new lines hooked up. This back on here should be in a good spot to test. So what's a fair price for something like that at a larger shop with a you know rate of 110 dollars an hour plus the parts it's going to cost as much to fix as you could just go buy it new and that's why if you ask most places won't even touch something like this with the quality of this stuff and ethanol in the gas we are 100 percent in a throwaway world